I've got a little working at home job. In the lathe is a length of glass reinforced nylon and uh, the specific material. What have we got on the end here? I might even be able to zoom in. So Ertalon 66 GF30, that's 30% 30 glass. And what I'm making is a drawing up on the, uh, the board. And it's a uh, winding bobbin um, for a uh, solenoid. And the original was made out of tufnel. And uh, I seem to have put it um, on one side and can't find it quite at the moment. Um, but this was part of a uh, pipette puller. And these take a capillary glass tube. And um, there's a heating coil which is a piece of platinum wire and you heat the glass up and um, pull it out in to make um, very fine pipettes and there's all sorts of timing sequences and variable forces and so on to get the, uh, the size and shape of uh, pipette needle you want and these instruments are very expensive I believe they're in the thousands of pounds I repaired this before the um, the core of the solenoid had actually um, closed down possibly due to overheating and was jamming and uh, I dismantled it all and, and um, actually used a, um, a slot drill, a two flute end mill to uh, relieve it and get it working again but the same things happened again um, so I've decided to make a new new core so I've never machined glass filled nylon before um, it is of course quite abrasive um, I have done a quick test cut um, oh, let's put the tool in so what I've got here zoom in the correct direction is a ground and polished insert normally used for uh, aluminium but it seems to give a, a good finish uh, as a standard insert which most of you um, will be familiar with so we'll get started in a minute and um, see how we do well this is the uh, pipette puller I've been doing the repair on and you can see in here here's a glass capillary and a platinum heater wire and there's the carriage with the link rod that connects to the solenoid for which I machined and wound a new coil a coil former and uh, I have run it up and it does work and we'll run another little test in a minute had a lot of swearing at it, this aluminium plate was apparently built in situ and is incredibly difficult to, to get out um, as an assembly you can see there's not much clearance here but there's things sticking through the bottom and it's like a Chinese puzzle and then we come to the rest of it and the build quality is not exactly high. The wiring is extremely random and poorly organized with all this rubbish and lots of slack. slack. And uh, most of it's on connectors apart from this wire here which you actually have to cut to get the thing apart. So on this occasion I did I have repaired this instrument before and I soldered this joint and sleeved it but I've just put a terminal block in this time in case I have to take it apart again in the near future and uh, one of these instruments is uh, 
I'm told four to five thousand pounds to replace. So it's a good repair. So I'll just get it powered up and we'll uh, run a test on it. Okay, you can see we've got the startup message. The carriage is all the way to the right. The capillary tube is clamped. The loading block is locked. So I think all I have to do is do a mount test. And so it's gradually heating up the platinum coil. See the uh, steps in brightness as the energy level is pumped up. Fourteen, fifteen, just starting to go. See the carriage moving. And we have a problem. The carriage is now binding, so I need to take another little look at this. Okay, I'm going to try this again. There's a little link rod in here that's got a certain amount of slop in it, um, and that was um, one of these joints. Um, these caps screw on and were glued leaving a certain amount of play and uh, one of them, the glue had uh, failed and the cap was screwed down causing the rod to be tight and not allowing any flex so we'll try that again you can see the uh, heat levels gradually ramping up See the glass is softening and it's starting to pull. And there we go. And if I come in really tight, you can see the very fine glass pipette that's been pulled. And uh, by altering the current in the pull solenoid and the heat levels and the by the time it spends soaking the tube, um, there are a series of programs so you can set the shape and fineness of the pipette you create.